So Josh and I parent completely different. Yes, basically my mom was, she had very strict parents, so she always wanted to be lenient with me. So now, of course, my reaction is to be strict with my kids, because I felt like I needed that structure. And my mom is first generation Filipino, and she did not play. Like, what she said went. Okay, so fast forward to yesterday, we're about to leave the house, we're gonna go eat or something, and my son comes up to me, and he's asking me if he can bring his tablet. He knows not to ask dad, okay? Yeah. <laughs> he comes and finds me, asks me, and I say no, because most of the time we don't let them have it during dinner anyway, but sometimes we'll let them bring it on the road. Most of the time not though, because we're like, yeah, most times just no. look out the window and All like, right. be in your thoughts. Enjoy the world around you. And he's like trying to explain to me why he should be able to bring it. He's like negotiating with me and my husband. Okay. I over here, like I'm in, I'm away from the area, but I just started, I interrupted him. I was like, Kane, mommy said, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so I'm standing next to him and he gets, very upset and he goes daddy don't interrupt me when i'm talking and i a thousand percent interrupted him and i kind of just we all paused i was like it got you know really what? quiet i was like i did interrupt you and i'm sorry for doing that and i appreciated that like first reaction to for me which is why i had to pause was to immediately be like don't talk back because my mom used to immediately say that to me anytime i tried to explain but um he's just genuinely trying to explain his what you know why he thinks you know reason with us and no one likes to be interrupted and i, I thought about that in that moment i was like you know what and i and, appreciated him right apologizing. and for me like as a parent i the best way to teach someone is not by saying do as i say not as i do right like it's to actually go like to live by what you're trying to teach so i can't interrupt him and say it's rude to interrupt people yeah so that's why i was like you know what i did that and i am sorry no matter what even if you're explaining something that you completely know you shouldn't be doing, it doesn't matter. I shouldn't interrupt you, period. And I want our kids to grow up to be able to articulate themselves well and have a calm, cool, and collected conversation without interrupting people, which I absolutely is a pet peeve of mine in a debate. So, I, I did say later on that we probably should have addressed how he expressed himself, though. He probably should have, and should have been like, yes, you're right, but... Maybe we can say it more calmly, you know? So that's something that we can work on. But if you nip it in the bud and you don't interrupt, you don't have to worry about that. That's true. You were in the wrong. <laughs> don't do that to my boy. 